ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு கூல் ஸ்கூல் இந்த ஒரு ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வி கேம் அக்ராஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேஸ் ஆஃப் ஆஸ்கிங் யுவர் நேம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி அட்ரெஸ்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேஸ் ஆஃப் ஆன்சரிங் தெம் இன் திஸ் செஷன் லெட் அஸ் அட்ரெஸ் ஃபியூ மோர் கொஷன்ஸ் ஃபியூ மோர் தட் இஸ் ஃபியூ மோர் வேஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ட்ரடியூசிங் யுவர் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் ஆன்சரிங் தெம் ஓகே ஸோ ஆஸ் ஐ செட் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் த வர்க் ஃபோர்ஸ்டலன் மீன்ஸ் டு இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் ரைட் அண்ட் த நவுன் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ்டலன் இஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ்டெலுங் D for Stellung means introduction. Okay. And yeah, and we also uh, came across this F. Uh, F means Frage. D Frage. That is question. Okay. And uh, the S, A, the, this A means untoward. Thus untoward means the answer. Okay. So let us uh, address uh, this the very first question of this class is Woher Common Z? Woher Common Z? That means where are you from? where are you from that is woher common z so this uh, w question woher means from where we came we came across few more uh, w questions in the previous class that is v in v hi and z we came across v v is how that is how are you called and also we came across where is in z in where is in z that where the w question where means who who are you in this woher means from where woher common z common means to come and z is uh, you you with respect right and uh, to ask informally woher comes do to friends and all you should say woher comes do okay that means where are you from informally and to answer them is is ish come aus indian that is ish come i come from aus is the preposition here from indian indian means india um, the country india is called as indian in uh, german language that's why it is indian okay here you replace this by your country okay so let us uh, uh, learn more about the verb conjugation of this verb we came across this uh, verb common okay in the previous class we came across heisen and also zain right and also we um we uh, we, had, we had gone through the verb, verb conjugation of those two verbs let us go through the verb conjugation of common okay so as i said common means to come that is first person singular i ish come so we we have we have addressed uh, this pronouns in the previous class so first person i is ish so first person singular i is ish ish come i come second person singular that is you that is in german is do do kommst you come he she it er sie es kommt third person singular okay and first person plural is we that is we are in german we are we are common we are common and second person plural that is you all this is ihr ihr kommt okay it changes here kommt in in english it remains the same you all come we come right so in german it is uh, kommt instead of common here it is kommt and uh, they third person plural is z common z common and i have said in the previous class this z is has the same spelling and pronunciation as this z but the meaning of this is she and here it is they so according to the context you should understand okay the, in this z is uh, z comped this z is z common okay yeah and uh, there was one uh, as i said there is one special case in german that is one more z capital s c is u with respect okay u with respect uh, z common okay this do is u informally this z is u formally okay we have used this z here woher common z where are you from with respect that is a formal way of asking and informal way of asking is using uh, do here woher comes do where are you from informally that is to friends okay so and the way of answering is ish come aus as i said uh, first person singular ish come right so we have used ish come here 
and uh, you can't just say ich komme Indian. You should use a preposition that is aus. Aus means from. I come from India. That is Indian. Ich komme aus Indian in German. Okay. So now let us uh, address the second question today. Wo wohnen Sie? Okay. Wo wohnen Sie? That means where do you live or where do you reside? Okay. Wohnen means to live or to reside. So there is one more uh, W question here. That is wo. Wo means where. Don't get confused with between uh, wo and woher. Woher means from where. Wo means just where. Where. So where do you live? Where do you live or where do you reside? Okay. And uh, to ask uh, informally is wo won't do. Wo won't do. Formal way of asking is uh, this is formal way and this is informal way. This is formal way and this is informal way. Okay. So and uh, the way of answering it, answering it is ish wone in Bangalore. Ish wone in Bangalore. Okay. So you can uh, specify your uh, city here, the city where you live. Ish wone. So we came across this verb wonen. So let us uh, see how it conjugates according to different uh, pronouns. Okay. So ish wone. First person singular ish, that is I, ish one, I live or I reside. One is to live. The infinitive form of common and uh, uh, are common and one. Common is to come, one is to live. Okay. And uh, ish, ish one, that is why it is here. Ish one. And do wonst, do wonst means you live, like uh, sec, uh, second person singular. And third person singular he she it he she it there is r z s won't and first person plural where it is we in English we are in German we are wonen and second person plural is you all in English that is ihr in German ihr won't and uh, third person plural that is they right so z wonen and the special case Z, that is you with respect, Z wonen, that we have used here. Wo wonen Z, this is you with respect, and this do is you informally. Wo wants to, that is here. Do wants, that is why. Wants do, wo wants to, in question. So while answering ish wone, so that is ish wone, right? So and notice that uh, this these two are same. These are all uh, regular verbs. There are a few exceptional uh, verbs. There is there are ir irregular verbs. In those cases, this rule will not work. In verbs like this, these are all same. There is we are common, z that is they, z common, and you with respect, z common. They are same, and these two are same. It is r z s comt, r z s won't, and here. Ear comt, ear won't. They both are normally same. So in regular verbs, uh, this rule goes. Okay, not in irregular verbs. Keep that in mind. Okay. So that's all from this class. Thank you so much, guys, for was for watching. Until next time. And yeah, please don't forget to like my videos and do subscribe to our channel, Cool School.